Hi, it's Timo. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Central. I hope you're all doing well. Still two games to go in the Premier League, but it's been pretty dismal since so lockdown. And Norwich City really need to turn their attention to next season and rebuild a squad which um, is going to be good enough to get us back out of the Championship and into the Premier League again. Um, I made a video on Dennis Mann showing kind of his goals, assists and skills from the 2019-2020 season. And that is the big question. Will Norwich City sign Dennis Mann? It's absolutely a fascinating one. And I'm going to be really interested to see whether Norwich City do sign Dennis Mann. Leave me your thoughts down, down below in the comment section. Do you think we sign Dennis Mann? Do we need another winger? Um, let's get a discussion going down in the comment section. And if there are any Romanian fans watching this, um, let me know your thoughts on Dennis Mann and do you think he would be a good fit in the championship? Um, so Dennis Mann from Stacura Bucharest, um, 23 appearances, 7 goals. Of course, the Romanian league, you know, it, it's not one of the top five European leagues. You know, you probably say the Romanian league is championship, maybe league one standard. But Dennis Mann is a very highly rated winger there. He's also played in the Europa League and, you know, Norwich City could only dream of playing in Europe. So this is a man who has had experience playing in Europe, obviously done very well in Romania and he's had four caps for Romania scoring a goal. A winger who likes to play on the right, as I said, as you can see from the um, video in which I've linked in the description and also at the end of this video, you can see some of his goals and assists and he has insane speed, very quick player. And I feel Norwich City have lacked that because our only real kind of direct winger is Ono Hernandez. Dennis Mann is someone who can run at full backs and with, you know, can cause a lot of problems and I think he'd be great in the championship. Um, and what is the latest developments on um, Dennis Mann? I'll let you know now. Um, the owner came out last week and was very open on Twitter, um, kind of about the situation with Dennis Mann. Um, so they, they want 15 million for Dennis Mann, 10 million in initial fees, and then 5 million in add on clause, you know, say he scores a certain amount of goals, or say if Norris City get promoted. Norris City have offered 5 million for him, don't know about the add-on clause. Now, obviously, they want at least 10 million plus 5 million add-on clause. So the valuation is far off. Um, and Norris City have gone, after watching him in Romania, have gone back to think about the deal more. So, yeah, at a standstill, obviously, Norris not matching the valuation. You're at least 5 million pounds off. And it's going to be really interesting to see whether Norris City budge and move up on that valuation. Stuart Webber has confirmed he is interested in Dennis Mann, but... Obviously, they are after a lot of wingers and they're not sure whether, you know, Dennis Mann fits into their price range. So that's kind of the latest situation with him, that Dennis Mann kind of is in a position to leave the club. I don't think they're particularly in a great kind of position at the moment. I think there are a few problems with the owner. But a lot of fans really want to see Dennis Mann move on because he could really be the next big talent in, in Romania and has a very high ceiling in terms of his potential. Um, which is really exciting. Of course, with these deals, you you know, we obviously as Norwich City fans, we haven't seen much of Dennis Mann. We're only going off other people's opinions. And if you looked at Duda in the 2018-2019 Winter League season, he looked really good and I think was valued about £15 million. Pounds. Um, and obviously, you know, it's quite good Norwich City only got him on loan because if we had him for £15 million pounds and we couldn't have loaded him, that's, you know, that's terrible business. Um, so with Dennis Mann, it is a big price tag and always with all these big price tags, you don't know whether they're going to be successful and it's going to be a big waste of money you know you look at Ricky Van Wolfswinkel is the big one but despite Dennis Mann's big price tag and despite him being a youngster who hasn't exactly shown that he can do it in England you still you know look at his statistics you look at what people are saying about him and think he really can do a job in a really good team look at Emi Buendia signed him from the second division in Spain and he's you know an absolutely incredible player you really feel Dennis Mann has got the potential with a good coach an attacking coach to do really well so that's the latest situation. I did go ask you guys on Instagram. I will leave my socials in the description on if you think Norris City will sign for Dennis Mann in a 50-50 split. So it's a really interesting one for me. I, I also agree. I think it's a real 50-50 position. I feel if you're playing a game of tennis, you know, the ball is in Norris City's court and whether they want to up that valuation. And for me, I think we really should. I think we're Norris City are in a lot better financial position. And I think... I mean, if, if I was in a position where I was Stuart Webber, I would try and keep the bulk of the squad, but do sell a couple of players, maybe, you know, some of the youngsters who've got a high price tag, and then reinvest that into other areas of squad, like the attacking areas. I really think that Dennis Mann looks like a great player and someone who Norwich City should really, really consider. Um, and of course, if we do sell a couple of youngsters, you do feel like Norwich City will have the money to sign for Dennis Mann. But I do think some other clubs will be interested in him and time could be of the essence. And the more and more this deal lingers on, you could argue the more and more there's kind of less chance that Norwich City will sign 
Dennis Mann. But they're my thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Is Dennis Mann the right player for Norwich City or do Norwich City need to look elsewhere? I think if you look at Norwich City's summer recruitment, it's been absolutely abysmal. And Norwich City have kind of been fishing in a, in a puddle, really. Um, you know, we've been a very small fish in a very big pond in the Premier League. And Dennis Mann would really be a perfect replacement, I feel, if we did sell someone like Emi Buendia. Or it just, just is a really good champ, could be a really good championship player. And under Farker, could really, really flourish. That is my thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thank you for all the support um, on the channel thus far. I really do appreciate it. I do have a Kofi page, which a few people have donated to so far, which I'm really appreciative of. And yeah, thank you for all the support so far. Um, and yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Stay well, stay safe and stay on the ball. I'll see you later.